In this lesson, let's look at how to graph an inequality solution on a number line. So the thing is that inequalities don't just have one number as a solution. An inequality has a whole range of numbers as a solution. Your answer is going to be something like all the numbers that are greater than 5 or all the numbers that are less than or equal to negative 3. So we need a way to kind of visually show on a number line which numbers are part of the solution set and which are not. Because, you know, a picture is worth a thousand words. It's easier, easier to visualize something than it is to read about it. So, for this exercise, let's graph each inequality. And we'll start off with x is less than 3. So, I draw myself a number line. And it does not have to be a fancy one. All I really need to do is label the number 3 on it. And now I want to shade all the numbers that are less than 3. So the numbers that are less than 3 lie to the left of 3. So you can see that I've drawn an arrow on the end of my shading because I don't want to keep shading forever, so the arrow indicates that the shading really should keep going. And then I will use a round parenthesis to show that the 3 is not included in what gets shaded because think about it this says x has to be less than 3 it does not say x can be equal to 3 so the the uh, 3 should not actually be shaded and to show that we just use a round parenthesis All right now here is x is greater than 5 so Here's my number line. The greater than numbers are to the right of 5. So I have drawn my shading with the arrow on it. And now to show that the 5 is not included in what gets shaded, I put my parenthesis on there. Okay, now x is less than or equal to 3. Let's draw our number line with a 3 on it. The less than 3 numbers are to the left of 3. Now, this time, the OR equal to bar says that x can be equal to 3. So if I use a parenthesis, it looks like x cannot be equal to 3. To show that x can be equal to 3, we use a bracket. And then our shading you know, is to the left. We've got this bracket. Let's look at x is greater than or equal to 5 on my number line. Here's my 5. The greater than 5 numbers are to the right. And because of the or equal to line, I'll use a bracket. So parentheses mean that it cannot be equal to the number. And brackets mean that x can be equal to the number. Also, I want you to notice that the inequality symbol points the same direction as the shading. Here the symbol points to the right, we shaded to the right. Points to the right, we shade to the right. If it points to the left, we shade to the left. That little shortcut works only as long as your variable is on the left. So we always try to keep the variable on the left and then our shading is easy. We just shade the direction that the uh, symbol points. So one more time, here it all is again. For less than or greater than, we use parentheses. And for less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, we use square brackets. And of course, we shade the same direction that the symbol points as long as the variable is on the left like it usually is.